Agora TV. The world is thinking. The demand for justification is always a demand that some, something be justified in terms not its own. Nothing in the Commission's question acknowledges that the arts and humanities might operate according to their own terms, or that these terms might be the basis both of the value they have and of the pleasure we take in them. That pleasure is a learned pleasure. It does not come to us as the pleasure of watching the sun rise or seeing a flower bloom comes to us. One must study conventions and genres and traditions of philosophy and theology before one can have access to the full power of a poem like the Forerunners. The reader who wrote to me, quote, that an intellectual's Hamlet dates, mine doesn't, didn't realize that his Hamlet is at least in part the production of generations of scholarly work. Future generations will enjoy a Hamlet illuminated by the work of scholars not yet born, scholars who will not have a place to work if humanities departments disappear. In the last analysis, if the study of the arts and humanities in our colleges is to be justified, it will be because it keeps alive and refurbishes glorious human artifacts that might well be lost or rendered less available to future generations if they will no longer taught. And this is already happening to Edmund Spencer's great poem, The Fairy Queen. If it's no longer taught, it will no longer be read. The loss would not be economic or reputational or civic. It could not be described by any of the measures the commission will invoke. In fact, it cannot be described and it cannot be explained. Remember, Farrell says the problem is how to explain that liberal arts education is useful because it studies, because what it studies is not. To explain something would be immediately to subordinate it to whatever system of values was implicit in the vocabulary of explanation. Explanation is just justification writ a bit softer. As the song says, don't explain.